Hey everybody, welcome to the Cross-Eyed Texan and today we are going to be testing out the Prasanna Comfort Coated Blades. Um, what spurred this on is a, a gentleman had left a comment in one of my videos about the one of my favorite blades which is the Gillette Perma Sharp. And he goes, you know, I'm kind of conscious about, you know, geopolitical things and he kind of intimated that he didn't really want to buy anything from Russia. And I started thinking about that. And, you know, I, I want to buy something from an American company whenever I can. Now, there's certainly nothing wrong with that. But there's only one company that I'm aware of that makes razors here in the good old USA. And it's these guys. And I saw Geo Fatboy, he had on his channel, he had the um, Persona Preps. He had a hundred of those. They were $54. Now, I don't want to spend $54 on razor blades if I, can, if I can avoid it, but I may have to get some of those eventually. But they just came in a plain brown, uh, white wrapper. Jeez. It's so hot, it's melted my brain. So let's open this up. I normally have this stuff done before I bring you guys in. But uh tell you one thing I like about it. No stinking blue, uh, glue spots on there. Not much to it. It's just a regular old razor blade. Um, the razor I've chosen to do with do this with is my Parker uh, 78R because I have used every razor blade in my six razor blade rotation with it. And... Uh, I'm familiar with it. <clears throat> and as you can tell from the thumbnail, I'm using Tabak. I tend to fall back to Tabak when I'm doing, doing a hardware review. There it is. The stuff is great. Although I will have to say, if you have not seen my review on this, I will leave it in the description. This is an outstanding product. I just... I. This is sit, sitting out on my counter. I just can't stop using it. It's really, really good. So I've got my Simpsons Trafalgar T3. We're gonna soak this and I'm gonna try to make leather real quick. Try to keep this video under 20 minutes. There's a, the Parker. Now, so I thought about doing this with my uh, one of my old Gillettes, one of my old classic Gillettes, but I don't have as much experience with those and I wanted to eliminate one of the variables, which would be a different razor. I've used, like I said just a few seconds ago, I've used all the blades that I have in this particular razor. And this is the razor I reach for uh, 60, 70% of the time. It's the one I use for sure when I'm in a hurry because I know I can shave fast with it. Which I don't really recommend. Shaving fast, double-edged style. And would you look at that leather just after a few seconds. Look at that. Nom nom. Well, not nom nom. It looks so good you could eat it, but I don't recommend it. Pre-shave for me, always. Well, not always, but most of the time it's just a good shower. I scrub my face really well. It's been about 10, 15 minutes since I got out of the shower. It gave me time to run. Brush through my hair and go in my room and grab my microphone and my, uh, and my phone and get started. Look at that man down. You're not getting away that easy. That's a, uh, that'll do. No, it won't, I don't like it. That's better. Love this little brush. It is my favorite. All right, so let's temper the razor. This is a cool shave because it's still 93 here in Dallas-Fort Worth, and 
I don't want to sweat. A little skin stretch here on this side. Okay, it's wonderful on the easy parts. But on this part of my face, out of the 15 different types of blades I own, none of them suck on this part. Well, okay, there might be a couple. So far, so good. It feels like it could have picked up a little more. This is the part that always sucks for me is the chin and I know that I'm not alone. So far they're not bad. Not bad at all. I seem to have dropped my face rag here. Also, for the guys that watch my uh, channel for the fragrances, I just got some Authenticity Perfumes Loam Riche in, and I'm letting it sit for a few days. I'm probably going to spray some on tonight because I've got nothing else to do but sit at the house. So it's a good time to test it. I did take an initial whiff off of it after I got it, and it you know, wasn't screaming hot because it was over 100 degrees in the mailbox. Um, and it smells fantastic. Let's get that off your lip. So far, these blades are quite comfortable. I think if you have sensitive skin, these might be some wonderful, wonderful blades. And I like the fact that there's not a whole ton of glue in it. I like that fact a lot. All right. So I'm going to go this way. It's just something I never do. I can hear that, some feedback. But it is doing its job. Let's go over here, go to the other side. See if I can get close to that mic. Not feeling any irritation, and it's uh, against the grain. That always seems to do it for me. Especially when I have to go that way. We are over 500 subscribers. Cannot believe it. Super happy about that. It would be nice to have a sponsor or two. And 
hopefully that'll come. As I look around and I don't see any channels doing what I'm doing. I don't see ones that split wet shaving and fragrance review. And oh, I also have a soap review coming up from a company here in Dallas called Buff City Soaps. My roommate won a contest for a photo he took for the Parks and Rec Department. And one of the things they gave him, this little spot right there, and one of the things they gave him, ooh, missed a bunch, was a uh, little sample of some stuff from Buff City Soaps, and I've been trying it out uh, for the past couple days, and it's fantastic. So when that gets in, look at that, mm, looks like ice cream cone. When that gets in, we'll be, we'll be trying some of that. And we'll talk about that as well. I hope everybody's doing well. A lot of kids gone back to school already here in Texas. I don't know how it is where you are. Because I got people all the way to New Zealand and uh, England and Canada. I bet y'all get sick of that. I'm sorry. Don't unsubscribe. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> all right. So it was a mel of a hiss right here. You don't ever feel like you're going to cut yourself with this blade. Okay, I need to get it. I have a little mold right here and I'm gun shy around it. They're very mild blades. They certainly are not gonna have the kind of performance that you guys who like feathers and Gillette Silver Blues and uh, things like that aren't, aren't probably gonna dig it. But I have a young man named Cole who just, I don't know if he's done it yet. Let me know if he did it, Cole, who uh, is going to order him a Hanson razor and uh, get the mild one. I think I may make him a little sample pack and give him some of these blades. Yep, yeah, there's some stuff right here that is. All right, so that was almost three passes right there. I have sharper blades in my arsenal, but I don't think I have any that are that smooth. And what my next video is going to be is going to be trying these blades in my Game Changer 84. That is the most aggressive, crazy razor I have. And I'm thinking that these blades would be uh, superlative in that particular uh, in that particular shaver. But honestly, man, if you got sensitive skin and you got 15 bucks, you can get some of these from Amazon. Um, they don't come like the rest of the other razor blades, and I, you know that's fine with me. But these are. Not bad at all, especially if you have sensitive skin and you don't want your face all irritated and stuff. I'm pretty impressed. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the new subscribers. 
And I hope that you can go out into this crazy old mean old world and be a blessing to somebody. Make somebody smile, hold open a door, go out of your way to show somebody some kindness because God knows there's not enough of it left in this world. If this video was helpful, like it. If this type of information of shaving and shaving soaps and fragrances and soaps and things like that to help you feel better on the outside, because that helps you feel better on the inside, I think, is worth something to you, subscribe to the channel. The more the merrier. I welcome conversation and chats and, uh, you know, even if you have a prayer request or something, let me know. I'll be glad to do that as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.